I'm Kelly Lachenberg, the genetic counsellor at Next Genetics, and I'll be talking a little about pre-implantation genetic testing for aneuploidy, or PGTA for short. This has commonly been referred to as pre-implantation genetic screening, or PGS, in the past. As part of the IVF process, your embryos will be allowed to develop until around day 5 or day 6 at which point an embryologist will biopsy or remove a few cells from each embryo, typically between five to eight cells. Those cells will be sent to the next genetics laboratory for further testing. Your embryo will remain safely at the fertility clinic and never leaves here. The cells that are received in the laboratory at Next Genetics can then be tested to determine if the correct amount of chromosome material is present. Typically, you would expect 46 chromosomes to be present. They come in pairs from 1 to 22, and the last pair are the sex chromosomes. Cells with the incorrect amount of chromosomes are referred to as aneuploid. This could be referring to extra chromosome material or chromosome material that is missing. Sometimes it can be a whole chromosome or pieces of chromosomes that could be extra or missing. Cells with the correct amount of chromosomes, typically 46, are referred to as euploid, and these are the embryos that will have the best chance of leading to a successful pregnancy. Some of the reasons for considering PGTA is if the mother is of advanced maternal age, generally over the age of 35, as we know that the risk of common chromosome abnormalities does increase with maternal age. Another reason to consider a PGTA is to reduce the risk of implantation failure or due to chromosome abnormalities or for couples who have experienced multiple pregnancy losses. Once the genetic test results are available, your fertility doctor along with a genetic counsellor can help you to select the best embryo for transfer that will have the highest chance of a successful pregnancy. PGTA is a test to look specifically for disorders related to the incorrect number of chromosomes. There is no genetic test that can screen for all known genetic conditions, so it's important to be aware of the limitations of PGTA. If there is a history of a known genetic condition in your family, you may need to consider a test that is called pre-implantation genetic testing for monogenic disorders, or PGTM for short and this is where embryos can be tested for a specific genetic condition that has been diagnosed in the family. In conclusion, considering PGTA may help increase the chances of a successful pregnancy and may reduce the overall time to pregnancy. For more information on genetic testing, you can see our contact details below. And if you'd like to see more informational videos from Vitalab, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel.